And for more, let's welcome back Niall Stanage, White House columnist at The Hill. Niall, thanks for staying with us. Oh, Niall, can you hear me? I can, yes. uh, Excellent. Niall, let's start with oh. this. Um, new okay. results just into our newsroom a short time ago. Nikki Haley earned her very first primary win of the season. She took 19 delegates in the D.C. primary. What is your response, Niall? Is this a sign of things to come? I think it's unlikely to be a sign of things to come because the Republican electorate in the District of Columbia is so unusual. This is a place where Democrats outnumber registered Republicans by a vast margin. Republicans are about 5% of the registered electorate. Now, having said all that, I don't want to take anything away from Nikki Haley. She finally won one. It's better to win than to lose. But I don't think really the Republican electorate in the District of Columbia can be seen as at all representative of the GOP electorate nationwide. Important context. We appreciate it. Um, and Haley today with News Nation discussing the state of the Republican Party, specifically about whether she plans to adhere to the party pledge to support their nominee. And an outgoing GOP congressman, Ken Buck, also adding that the party has lost its way. Let's take a quick listen. The RNC is now not the same RNC. Now it's So you're no Trump's longer bound by that pledge? No, I think I'll make what decision I want to make, but that's not something I'm thinking about. I am not going to lie on behalf of my presidential candidate, on behalf of my party. And uh, I'm, I'm very sad that, that others in my party have taken the position that as long as we get the White House, it's, it doesn't really matter what we say. What is your read on this, Niall? Should the RNC be concerned with Republicans publicly speaking out against their own party like this? I suppose it is a little bit unusual for Republicans to be dissenting so clearly. It's typically more of a democratic habit to be uh, arguing amongst yourselves. Having said that, uh, Ken Buck, the congressman, has always gone his own way. Nikki Haley's comments there on uh, the NBC were more interesting in a way because she's talking there about whether she will or will not endorse the former president. That obviously will be a big question, partly because it seems quite likely she would end her campaign after Super Tuesday. And Niall, finally, uh, President Biden is set to deliver his State of the Union on Thursday. Anything out of the ordinary you're tracking or will be paying particular attention to? Obviously, he'll make the argument on the standard grounds of the economy and his record. But what I'm watching for, Natasha, is what he says about Israel and Gaza. That issue has become politically very treacherous territory for him with his own party. Obviously, he is trying to press for a ceasefire. Whether he gets one in time for the State of the Union, we'll have to see. But that issue is causing him huge political trouble. And I'll stand it. Always appreciate the analysis and time. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.